dear students this is professor ashish t patil from department of mechanical engineering kits college of engineering autonomous kolhapur we are in the subject of total quality management last time in unit number 1 we have seen the basic concepts of total quality management today in unit number 2 we will start with planning for quality so let us start with today's topic now when we are discussing with quality initially we will see the concept of quality policy statement so what exactly it means the quality policy statement is that where the company starts with the actual promise it commits to its customer the promise to strive for consistent quality the promise to strive for continuous improvement in the product or service which the company offers so in a nutshell it's a short document which is created by the executive team of the company and it tries to display the exact meaning of quality to the people from the company and the exact purpose of the product or service the company is providing so what it should show and to whom it should show now obviously it should show this entire quality policy statement to all the employees of the organization so that all these employees should aware about the policy of the company regarding quality and its alignment with the objectives of the company and it should be also shown to public that means the actual customers and the investors in the organization for reference and reassurance now quality policy statement is in a nutshell what you can talk about is it tries to describe your business what your business is actually offering and the commitment of the business for delivering the highest quality of the product as well as services the company is offering it is nothing but a guide so that the company or its management should take appropriate actions and this particular policy should be written by the chief executive officer and he should take the feedback from the actual workforce and this particular document should be approved by the quality council from the organization this concept of quality council we will see later on now this quality policy is important requirement for iso 9000 certification also what are the various examples when we talk about quality quality policy statement now let us initially see a statement quality policy statement by reliance industries limited reliance is committed to meeting customer requirements through continual improvement of its quality management systems and reliance shall sustain organization excellence through visionary leadership and innovative efforts so from these two statements we understand that reliance company is committed to its customer from the requirement point of view whatever product or services requirement what customer is expecting such products this company will deliver with greatest quality and with continuous improvement in its products as well as services based on customer expectations 
also the company will try to maintain its excellence by giving visionary visionary leadership and they will try to continually develop their products or services with innovation next we will see the quality policy statement of parley products now parley products you know is basically a company which is in confectionery business they are producing biscuits <clears throat> then all the bakery related products so the company is trying to say in its quality policy statement that parley products limited will strive to provide consistently nutritious and quality food products to meet customer satisfaction by using quality materials and by adopting appropriate processes now the company is in the manufacturing of say biscuits for example then obviously you should expect the nutritional value in such products as well as the quality the test of such products and for that whatever processes they are utilizing should be appropriate one the materials they are utilizing should be the quality one again it is saying that to facilitate the above we will strive to continuously train our employees and to provide them an open and participative environment so when you are dealing with quality products the workforce which is actually involved in production of such products should be properly trained then only you can expect the quality of the product so that is why company is saying that we will strive to continuously train our employees and also they are committing that uh, we will be having open and participative environment so with these statements i hope you have understood the concept of quality policy statement next once you understand the quality policy statement we will see what do you mean by quality objectives now quality objectives are set of goals for the value of the product service provided and the production process which can strive for so quality objectives actually outline the key processes of the company's quality assurance policy so whatever quality assurance we have given under our policy all such commitments these quality objectives will try to achieve these commitments businesses use these objectives to focus the efforts of the employees to work toward constant improvement because any company will survive in this fierce competition only when they will produce better and better products or when they deliver better and better services to their customers and this will only happen when you will be having a continuous improvement environment or culture now these quality <coughs> objectives yeah, created by the businesses or the organizations should be created using the smart principle now smart is abbreviation for specific measurable achievable realistic and time based so these objectives should be specific ones there should not be any ambiguity when you talk about objectives those ob objectives should be measurable one that means they can be measurable in terms of quantity or say in terms of money they should be achievable also the objectives should not be like the difficult one or out of the context those should be achievable one and those should be realistic and those should be time based so whatever time you have expected within which that objective should be achieved within that time only you should achieve it these quality objectives are also called as kpi that is key performance indicators and this will make sure that each objective is communicated properly to each individual so your organization should make 
sure that every employee right from the top management till the grassroots employees everyone should be aware about the quality objectives now once you understand the quality objective concept you should think about the leadership concepts or you should understand the leadership concept because leaders are responsible for creating the quality culture in your organization so for that reason we should understand the characteristics or behaviors of the quality leaders the first one is customer first the leader should always think about the customer first he or she should always value the people though it may be from your organization or from say your supplier or from customers you should always build the supplier partnership relations why it is required because when you consider your supplier as your partner then that sense of belongingness will be developed in the mind of supplier and they will work as if they are part of the organization so therefore building this supplier partnership is very important you should always empower your people the leader should always empower the people he or she should always ask about the feedback from the people he or she should always try to involve the people in various decision makings then only you can build a trustworthy environment you should demonstrate the involvement also in your organizational groups or say department team members the leader should always strive for excellence whatever product or services you are providing then next quality a leader should have is he or she should <coughs> try to explain and deploy policy every time rather deploying the policy without explaining it will create the ambiguity or chaos in the minds of the employee you should always try the leader should always try to improve the communication skills because that <coughs> sense of trustworthiness should be there in the employee from the leadership point of view so you should always improve the communication though the, your communication should be with the higher management middle management or lower management the leader should always promote teamwork because any work the accomplishment of that work is always possible with the concept of team with the spirit of team next you should always benchmark continuously benchmarking is establishing the standards compared with the leaders which are available in the market so just look at their products or services based on that you should benchmark your product or services with those who are there in the market as leader the next you have to establish the system any work when associated with a peculiar system you will always expect a better work output and <clears throat> the last quality or characteristics what we can see is you should always encourage collaboration rather than competition the team members should always have collaboration amongst them they should not have a sense of competition amongst them and this will create the harmony in your work culture so just pause this video and try to answer this particular question so i hope you have gone through this question and tried to answer this question with this we'll stop today in our next session we will see the various leadership styles which are required for achieving the quality and other leadership concepts thank you